young people today are not waiting for permission or to be of age or to be in the office of creating change to make the difference that we need. My name is Maleti. I'm 22 years old and a full-time change maker based out of Bali, Indonesia. Maleti Wishen est l'une des héroïnes de Née Rebelle. Avec sa sœur Isabelle, elle lutte depuis ses 12 ans contre la pollution plastique. Growing up on the island of Bali, it's such a beautiful natural paradise. But there's also a very strong in-your-face problem of plastic pollution. And, you know, every other day when we go to the beach or if we would go and run through the rice fields, we would see plastic pollution everywhere. It was hard to not see. And my sister and I decided that we wanted to do something about it. We didn't want to wait until we were older to start creating change. So at 10 and 12 years old in 2013, we said enough, we're going to make Bali plastic bag free. Les deux sœurs créent Bye Bye Plastic Bags et multiplient les actions pour faire entendre leur message. Pétition, flash mob, nettoyage de plage, elles frappent à la porte de toutes les autorités locales et publient une liste des commerçants qui continuent de distribuer des sacs plastiques. Being 10 and 12 years old, when we would enter a room, heads would turn and they would say, oh, so cute, so inspirational. And it was frustrating because that was the exact opposite of what we were trying to be. We had a message and a mission that we wanted to reach of making Bali plastic bag free. Leur grève de la faim finira par faire agir le gouverneur de Bali, qui accepte enfin de les rencontrer et de faire voter une loi interdisant les sacs plastiques. Une victoire écologique hors norme pour deux ados que rien ne prédisposait à devenir des icônes. The way that we overcame that obstacle of, you know, not being taken seriously as young girls uh, was consistency. We kept showing up no matter what, at every village gathering, at every government meeting, at every school um, conference and meeting. It was very much the persistence and commitment to the long-term goal of getting this change to happen. Leur histoire est l'un des six récits du roman graphique Né Rebelle. Mais Lati et Isabelle nous ont prouvé qu'il n'y a pas d'âge pour changer le monde. Et euh, elles ont un super pouvoir, c'est des héroïnes qui existent dans le monde dans lequel on vit. Et leur pouvoir, c'est euh, l'intelligence, euh, le courage, la détermination. Et euh, nous, c'est ce qu'on avait envie, c'est de montrer des jeunes filles qui, euh, qui ont des super pouvoirs. Et pas seulement euh, dans, les, dans les films de Marvel euh, au cinéma, il euh, y a aussi des, des vraies héroïnes ici. Au fil des pages, le combat de Mélati et Isabelle se dessine sous le pinceau de l'illustratrice Rebecca Troning. Alors Rebecca Troning elle a fait un travail extraordinaire sur les dessins et euh, en fait elle a eu un univers graphique qui collait parfaitement à, à l'histoire de Mélati et Isabelle parce qu'on on voit dans les dessins euh, bah, beaucoup de douceur et beaucoup de réalisme et, euh, et on comprend mieux en voyant euh, les dessins euh, ce qu'ont voulu préserver Mélati et Isabelle. C'est des décors magnifiques que l'homme était en train de dévaster. À leur côté dans Né Rebelle, Malala, Greta Thunberg ou encore Emma Gonzalez. Des récits variés qui témoignent de l'influence de la génération Z dans le débat public. We can't solve the problem with the same thinking that created it. And I think Gen Z, with the way that we have grown up in the world and the time and the many different influences, whether it's technology, culture, the fact that the world can feel so small and so big at the same time, is a lot of the unique um, factors that come into shaping who we are as a generation. And I think there's another layer, um, which is creativity, that this generation understands uh, deeply. And storytelling. I do think that our generation has a gift or an ability to storytell problems, but coupled with a solution. And I think Gen Z does that very well. Si elle cite Gandhi ou encore Lady Di comme influence personnelle, Melati sait que c'est désormais vers elle que les regards se portent. It's so important to have people that you look up to, people that inspire you through Instagram, through documentaries, through podcasts that you're listening to, or through a book that you're picking up. But it's so important to have these role models that allow us to guide who we want to become or how we want to be. Si les rebelles peuvent éveiller les consciences, on a tout gagné. Le prochain défi de Melati former la nouvelle génération d'activistes. Because after 10 years with Bio Plastic Bags, I have learned so much at the front lines of change and all I want to do now at 22 years old is share that knowledge. 
How do you speak in public? How do you reach out to government officials? How do you create a petition? Where do you get started? And today my gift or what I want to work in, the value that I want to leave behind is to make sure that every single young person today, every 12 year old out there today, feels like they have a platform to go to, a community to connect with, and a space where they can jumpstart their change making journey. Conférencière reconnue, présente sur la liste des 30 leaders de moins de 30 ans de Forbes, acclamée au Festival de Cannes en 2021, Melati ne compte pas s'arrêter en si bon chemin. And I think the message that I'd like to leave everybody behind is that we have to power through that and lead with love.